Hi everyone, in this video from Count Backwards from 10, we're going to be taking a very quick look at adding narcotic to local anesthetic and what it does. There's one other video that discusses adding decadron and epinephrine to our local anesthetics and the mechanism of action and what they do. And there's another video on adding bicarbonate to our local anesthetics and explaining the biochemistry of why you get the effect that you get. I do recommend going ahead and taking a look at those. This is going to be a very quick video. So if you remember nothing else from this video, understand that adding narcotic leads to increased density of block, further numbness, sometimes even knocking out motor functions uh, because, and we're going to talk about why. But if you have nothing else to remember from this video for your tests or for whatever it is, adding narcotic to local anesthetic can increase the density of the block. Now, you're going to see this most oftentimes I presume, unless you're really a regional person and that's most of what you do or want to do in fellowship, is that you're going to see a lot of times morphine and fentanyl that are going to be added to your local for your epidurals or spinals. And the reason is that our peripheral nerves and even our central nerves, our nerves are covered in opiate receptors, opioid receptors, covered in opioid receptors. As a result, not only do you get the effect of the local anesthetic blocking the sodium channel, which in turn prevents the transmission of the action potential down the nerve, but you also get the analgesic effect of stimulation of the opioid receptor within that nerve as well. So it's really that simple. At least the way that I think about it is that simple. Adding narcotics to our local anesthetics, fentanyl, morphine, whatever it is, increases the density of the block. I mean, you're going to feel even less and you can even knock out motor function uh, depending on the volume uh, that you end up giving. Now, I do want to make, quick, make a quick note, something that you may see in regards to morphine when you give it either as a nerve block or in your spinals, is that sometimes you can get uncontrolled itching as a result of stimulation of those mu receptors and you're usually going to have it on the facial distribution of the facial nerve if you do a spinal that way. And it should be noted that you really can't help this with Benadryl because it's not a histamine release issue. It's because of this mu receptor stimulation. And a lot of times you're going to have to give the patient some type of Narcan in order to reverse it. So that's all for adding narcotic to local anesthetic. I told you to be quick, a quick explanation of why. Um, I do recommend going and checking out the adding bicarbonate to the local anesthetic as well as the video on adding decadron and epinephrine. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to write in, ask questions, and give me topics to talk about. If you'd like to get involved, we'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, check us out on Instagram, subscribe below, and stay tuned for the next video.